back with a new haul video. I know it's been a long time since I posted a haul video and that's the main reason because it's, I didn't really purchase a lot of beauty products. Like if ever I would purchase one, um, it would be just like one or two items that month. And most of the items that I I had actually were given to me. So I'm like, I'm not gonna consider it a haul video because I did not purchase it with my money. No, um, some I did receive some stuff for product review, but those were like from my friends, so they're not directly from the company. So I'm like, I don't wanna put the disclaimer that the company sent this to me and stuff like that, or I bought this with my money because I did not buy them. So. Yeah, that's one reason why. Um, I'm I'm kind of blabbering right now, I'm I red light. Let's just begin with the haul video. Hi ladies! Okay, so on today's video, as I said, it's going to be a haul video and I put almost everything that I've bought in this small bag. Yes, believe it or not, it is inside this. Um, I did buy more of lip products, which... <laughs> It's kind of weird because I promised myself not to buy lip products like lipstick, lip balm, stuff like that. But I went against what I said and I feel so bad but then I feel so good as well. It's kind of like a mixed feeling. It's bittersweet in a way. So I will just pull out the items one by one or by group. Um, it depends. So let's begin. So the first product that I do have here is the human, oh the human heart nature, human nature sunflower beauty oil. So I have been meaning to buy this one. Um, I was able to buy it from a friend of mine who sells human heart nature products and I actually forgot how much this costs but I'll put it on the down bar and also on my blog. So the reason why I bought this is because it actually contains a lot of um, things that could help me like it could be a makeup remover it could be um, a hair serum it could be an underarm whitener like it does a lot of stuff so I'm like hmm might as well I'm going to try this out I've actually used it a couple of times but after, like I haven't used it this week because I was pretty busy I was dead tired I didn't really have a lot of time to go use this to remove my makeup but I will continue using this as you can see and then the next product that I have here is the Garnier BBI roll-on which I have been using a lot ever since I bought the uh, I bought this um, basically it clears out your um, under eye area like it conceals it and heals it and I do see a lot of difference when I use this. It's much more blendable unlike my Caroline under eye concealer. Well that's a pimple concealer but it's still a concealer right? So this one is more on the under eye area. I will do a separate video about this. I will make a review of all the products that I will be featuring in this haul for sure. Um, but this one is definitely a good one I would say right now. Then the next product I have here is the Miss Me Cole Bed and Butter. So this is a buddy butter actually. I bought this from a friend of mine who sells products from the United States. And when I bought this from her, I wasn't really expecting a lot because it's a buddy butter. So I'm not going to use it every day. I do use this at night mainly for my hands and my feet um, and it does a good job it smells really nice so yeah I really do like this I will do a review about this as well and then next product that I have here is this Dia Pro special water skin plus um, what they call this skincare pack but this one was given to me from the health of beauty company because I passed by their store in West Avenue so they gave me this I will do a review about this for sure and I will go to their store again because I will be buying their makeup remover wipes which were super super big it was actually bigger than Tony Moly's and Etted House combined so I'm gonna purchase like the makeup remover there next time but I'm gonna try these um, believe it or not, these are actually from Samsung. So the same company that 
released the S4, the S3, the S3 mini. They have a cosmetics and skincare line, believe it or not. So I'll put more information on my blog about this. And then I also got myself some blushes. I got one from Ultimate Minerals. This is actually from um, the United States, I believe. Yeah, this is in Pinch Pink. So the reason why I bought this mainly is because I like the color from the um from like this one from the top itself and also the packaging is just really nice it's really sturdy and it's actually it actually snaps so I will put like swatches of everything on my blog I really like the shade and then I did have one from Maybelline this is their pure mineral blush in rose and then I have one from Fashion 21. This is their fine blush powder, and I believe this is on the, this is in the number three. So I actually peeled off the the indicator what is the numbers or what is the um, color number of this one. But you would probably see this a lot on their Fashion 21 kiosk at the mall. And then I bought, also bought some stuff for my face, which are foundations. I bought this CoverGirl CG Smoothers, um, what's this, All Day Hydrating Makeup. And this is a natural beige. I actually bought this not for myself, but for my mom. Because the shade actually doesn't fit me, so I bought this mainly for her. So that she doesn't use my foundations anymore. Um, my mom does have a habit of using my makeup as well. So I'm like, I'm just gonna buy you your makeup, you know. And then I bought myself this Wet n Wild Intuitive Blend Shade Adjusting Foundation and Primer, which I'm going to review shortly. Um, I don't really have a lot of, what they call this, I don't really have a lot of expectations about this because I haven't tried any Wet n Wild products, mainly their foundations. So I'm like, hmm, let me see. Let me see what will happen. And then... I have committed the biggest crime of purchasing many, many lipsticks. Um, I'm just going to pull them out right now. So I bought four from Color Collection and then two from Ever Belena. Let me just put on my hand now the Ever Belena ones. These are their matte lipsticks. I bought two shades. Well, there are actually a lot of shades available. I think there are 13. So I bought Offbeat Pink. And then I also bought Scarlet. So these are one of the most highly recommended colors aside from Pink Flame and Mauve. Um, these are two of the most coveted colors of the collection for sure because Scarlet has an orange tint which not a lot of lipsticks here in Manila have and then Pink, oh, uh, Offbeat Pink um, has more of like a babyish pink. It's actually a lighter shade. It's like a color in between Mauve and Pink Flame. So this is it. And then moving on to the other lipsticks I bought. Um, I bought some from Color Collection. If you don't know Color Collection, these are actually from Tupperware brands. So I bought their newest line of lipsticks, um, which are the Ultimate Wear Lipstick. So it's really thin. It's actually thinner than the Wet n Wild ones, I remember. So I will just show them to you one by one, but I'm not going to do swatches. You'll see that on my blog. Um, I have here Plum Promise, which is a very, very nice color if you ask me. And then I have Hot Summer. So I'm just going to pull them out. This one is Hot Summer, which is a red color, which is nice to wear. I've actually worn this one um, uh, yesterday just to try it out, and it is really nice. And then I also have Love Me. So Love Me is more of a, let's see, it has more of a mauve-ish color. 
similar to Ever Belenis Mauve, but this has a bit more gloss into it. And then lastly, I have Kiss and Tell, which is actually the color that I really was hoping to be my savior for a makeup tutorial. And I'm going to tell you why. The color is just superb. It's pink, and I don't really want to mix lip sh lip colors or lip shades so that's why I'm like hoping this is the right pink and it is so I'm gonna use this in a tutorial soon and then the last item that I actually have which I actually didn't buy this my mom gave it to me um, my mom bought it for me is I don't know how I'm gonna hold this with one hand but let's try is a bunch of face masks like I love face masks and my mom bought me these um, I have three from Olay which are their Olay professional Pro X intensive treatment mask and then I have one from Garnier which is their self heating sauna mask so I don't know what this is I haven't tried this one and then I have three nose packs um, from I white and then also three packs of their whitening pack which is a peel off um, kind so I'm like ah, new products new products new products so yeah so that's it for today's haul video I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this I know it's pretty long I was blabbering and there are a lot of products I'm going to be reviewing soon, so I hope that you do watch for more videos, more reviews, more tutorials. I actually have a tutorial upcom um, coming up. Um, if you have any questions, you can go on the description box for the prices or to the comment box below for your questions. Like, I don't know. It's your questions. So yeah, so that's it. Um, for more information, just check out the links below on the description box. I'll put there my link to my Facebook, Twitter, um, my blogs as well. And um, if you do want to say hi to me, you can simply message me on Twitter. I am mostly online. I'm actually online right now. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye! Mwah.